hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we are going to have a look at what causes a drive shaft to go bad the drive shaft is a very crucial powertrain component that transmits power from the transmission gearbox to the differential in a front engine rear wheel drive vehicle drive shafts are also available in an all-wheel drive vehicle and in a four-wheel drive vehicle where they transmit engine power from the transmission to the front axle as well as to the rear axle there are several reasons why a drive shaft might go bad. Let's have a look at some of the top causes that can lead to drive shaft failure. 1. Use of low quality grease. The drive shaft is lubricated by grease. The grease helps reduce friction and wear. If low quality grease is used, it can cause the drive shaft to wear prematurely. Now, the components of the drive shaft, such as the slip joint, the universal joint, and all the bushings and bearings they need to get lubricated in order to minimize damage caused by friction. If low quality grease is used, that will accelerate the rate of wear and that will lead to premature drive shaft failure. So always make sure that you are using the correct type of grease. It is important to use the correct type of grease for your drive shaft by consulting your vehicle's owner manual. Or you can also consult mechanic to find out the right type of grease for your vehicle good quality grease have to be applied to the drivetrain components as these components are operating at high speed and they are transmitting large amount of torque that can lead to premature failure if it is not well lubricated two dirt penetration Another cause of drive shaft problem is dirt and foreign material that gets deposited on the joints. This can happen if the seal of the joints are damaged. Once dirt gets inside, it can cause wear and tear on the bearings and other parts. Especially if dirt that contains abrasive material like sand gets into the seal, gets into the joints, that can accelerate wear and tear of the drivetrain components. It is important to keep your drive shaft clean to prevent this from happening. You should regularly inspect the seal on the joints and make sure that they are not damaged. If you live in an area with lots of dirt and dust, you may want to consider using cover for the drive shaft. This will help keep dirt out and prevent it from getting into the joints. So every time make sure that the drive shaft and the propeller shaft components are all clean and dirt free the third cause that can lead to drive shaft malfunction is improper installation if the drive shaft is not installed correctly it can cause problem if the universal joints for example are not aligned correctly it can cause the drive shaft to bind and wear out prematurely Having a qualified mechanic install the drive shaft and its components can help prevent premature wear and tear that can be caused by improper installation. Improper installation can cause misalignment of parts and that can lead to vibration as the propeller shaft is spinning when vehicle is driven. So make sure that the components are properly installed once it is serviced. Four driving in hot climate the other thing that can cause premature drive shaft failure is extremely hot climate if you live in a hot climate your car's drive shaft might get damaged due to excessive heat now the problem with driving in extremely hot environment is that the heat can cause the grease to break down and evaporate that will reduce lubrication at the drive shaft components and joints this can lead to premature wear and tear on the drive shaft. Once grease is removed, friction increases, and that will lead to premature drive shaft component failure. And finally, the other thing that can lead to drive shaft failure is normal wear and tear. Like all the other parts on your car, the drive shaft is also subjected to wear and tear. Over time, the joints and bearings and the drive shaft wear out, causing it to become loose. This can lead to problems while turning and causing noise, unnecessary sound, squeaking and clacking sound. If you live in an area where there are 
lots of road irregularities and potholes. This can also cause the drive shaft to wear out prematurely. The constant impact from driving on an irregular road can damage the joints and bearings in the drive shaft. Another cause of wear and tear is corrosion. If the drive shaft is made of steel, then it is susceptible to rust. So if you notice that the vehicle has been lately driven in water or in a muddy road that can cause rust, this can weaken the metal and cause it to break. Aluminium drive shafts are not susceptible to corrosion, but they can still be damaged by salt and other corrosive materials. So these are some of the top causes that can lead to drive shaft failure. Well, there are few things that we can do to prevent drive shaft failure. Let's have a look at some of the things that you can do to prolong the service life of a drive shaft. The first thing you can do is inspect your drive shaft regularly for any sign of wear and damage. If you notice any damage, have the drive shaft repaired or replaced as soon as possible. The other thing you can do is avoid driving over rough road whenever possible. If you have to drive over rough road, go slowly and carefully to minimize the stress on the drive shaft. If you notice any strange noise or vibration coming from the lower side of the vehicle, have it inspected by a professional as soon as possible. Don't tow heavy loads with your vehicle unless the drive shaft is designed to handle that kind of weight. Have your drive shaft serviced according to the manufacturer's recommendation. Make sure that all the components of the drive shaft are well lubricated. By following these simple tips, you can help prevent your drive shaft from failing. If you do experience any problem with your drive shaft, be sure to have it inspected and repaired as soon as possible to avoid further damage. Several factors contribute to the deterioration of drive shaft in automobiles. In this video, we have highlighted only some of the most common ones. If you like this video, do smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.